Uh, my name is Scott Hogue. I'm Director of Technology Solutions for GTRI in Denver, Colorado. What was the main message of your presentation? Uh, my presentation was to uh, educate people about the troubleshooting techniques uh, that they'll have to employ in a dual protocol environment. Uh, when we add IPv6 to our networks, uh, we need to know how to troubleshoot if a connection may be taking place over IPv4 or IPv6. The faster we can troubleshoot reduces the mean time to repair, which improves the availability of the network or the system. What advice do you have for IPv6 professionals? Well, I think they need to you know, understand what tools are available to help them you know, determine if a connection is being made over IPv4 or IPv6 and uh, leverage those tools to gain insight into you know, what's happening on the network. For example, using a, a protocol analyzer could give you insight into what's, what's actually being sent on the, on the wire. And so that's a valuable tool to be able to know how to use. And you should be practicing using that tool before you really need it in an emergency. What are six of the most important takeaways from your presentation? Oh, um, I would say um, understanding the sublayers, you know, between V4 and V6 and how you would troubleshoot those. Uh, using a protocol analyzer to troubleshoot uh, those uh, problems. Understanding how to use uh, DNS query tools like NSLOOKUP, DIG, uh, HOST, to figure out if a host is going to make a connection over V4 or V6 or what, what is in the DNS database. Uh, using ping and traceroute and tracepath and iperf and jperf and other tools to test end-to-end -to -end connectivity and using those tools with v4 and v6 and checking for uh, any possible asymmetry. Uh, understanding how tunnels work and if there may be a tunnel and detecting if there is a tunnel in the traffic path that may be causing either a problem for the traffic path, creating asymmetry, or causing uh, packet loss or MTU related issue. And then um, using you know, application plug-in tools in web browsers, for example, that can tell you uh, whether your application is making a V4 or a V6 connection. 